that's stunning. Passion or coincidence once prompted you to say, Pride will tear us both apart. Our pride's gone out the window, across the rooftops, run away. Hello, VA beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee, and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. Do not forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you would like to see more reactions to this artist or group. And don't forget to check out the links in my description for perks, benefits, and behind the scenes you don't want to miss. All of my reactions are created live on Twitch during our live stream, so I hope I'll see you at the next one. But for now, let's get into this reaction. Here we go! Oh, Adam, Adam Lambert, Ordinary World official video. Um, I'm really excited to see this. We've had Adam Lambert before, but I'm going to look him up anyway, just to give us a reminder. He's really talented, so let's pull this up. Adam Mitchell Lambert is an American singer, songwriter, and actor. Since 2009, he has sold over 3 million albums and 5 million singles worldwide. Lambert is known for his dynamic vocal performances that combine his th theatrical training with modern and classic genres. Lambert rose to fame in 2009 after finishing runner-up on the eighth season of American Idol. Later that year, he released his debut album, For Your Entertainment, which debuted at number three on the U.S. Billboard 200. The album spawned several singles, including What Do You Want From Me, for which he received a Grammy nomination for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. In 2012, Lambert released his second studio album, Trespassing. The album premiered at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, making him the first openly gay artist to top the album charts. Um, and we've seen the rest of this stuff, and we saw his react. We reacted to his uh, his songs with uh, Adam with Queen with Adam Lambert, um, which was absolutely phenomenal. And I've posted that on the channel, so you guys should check that out if you haven't seen it yet. I'm very excited to see him again because he has an incredible voice and incredible talent. Um, you used to do around the world backgrounds. I did used to do that. We used to travel all around the world and then it kind of, I guess we, we visited pretty much a lot of the world. <laughs> Maybe I'll do something similar, but like, I don't know, different rooms and things like that. I should do some kind of moving backgrounds. I think it's fun. Anyways, uh, you reacted to him with Queen. Yes, I did. You asked to react to more of him. That's why I put this in. Perfect. Well, I'm very excited because I really love his singing. So this is Adam Lambert, Ordinary World. Thank you so much, Luna, for sponsoring this video. Guys, let me know what you like and what you don't like. And Luna, let us know if there's anything else we need to know. Let's do it. Here we go. I mean, thought I heard you talking softly. I turned on the lights, the TV, and the radio. Still, I can't escape the ghost of you. His voice is just so unique and beautiful, and so well performed and controlled. It's just incredible. Turned on the lights, the TV, and the I love the breathiness in his voice too. He's very much in his mix, but he adds this breathiness over his mix or under his mix rather, and it creates this gorgeous quality. Like I'll show you what I'm talking about. I turned on the lights, the TV, and so uh, that started in the rasp. I turned on the lights, the TV. So he's not just doing. I turned on the lights, the TV. So it's not just a pure mix, and it's not. I turned on the lights, the TV. It's a blend of those two that creates this beautiful, just like breathy gorgeousness with still that rich tone in his voice. I turned on the lights, the TV. It just gives it both of those elements, which is stunning together. And he sounds lovely on it. And it gives it emotion. I turned on the lights, the TV, and the radio. And the radio. Still I can't escape the ghost of you. You. 
Nice movement in the vocals. Love the rasp. Where is the life that I recognize? Gone away, but I won't cry for yesterday. There's an ordinary world somehow I have to find. Wow. And as I try. The strings. That's stunning. Passion or coincidence once prompted you to say, Pride will tear us both apart. A pride's gone out the window, across the road. Run away, run away. Left me in the vacuum of my heart. What has happened to me? Crazy songs say. Where is my friend when I need you more? Okay, it should pick up now. Gone away. Okay, absolutely beautiful song. Love the vocals, but with what I know he's capable of, it, this is way too late in the song already to go off in his vocals and like do something really super special. This is another singer that I would say I would want more risk sooner. That chorus should have already been like really belted out and like very powerful, especially with the strings. I mean, they could have gone for something really dramatic. We're at like one minute left, so maybe by the end of it he'll do something, but it's a little bit... It's a little bit under what I'm hoping for from him because he can do better. Like he's he's so talented that I just want him to go full force at it and really give it. And he's not really fully giving. It's a beautiful song. Don't get me wrong. Like it's lovely, but it kind of just stays in the same place. So I kind of want to hear him go at it a little bit more. Uh, Luna says, no, he won't. Darn it. <laughs> Dorky says, too restrained. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it could be the function of the arrangement and the way that they chose to do it, but... I, I just, you know, when, when a singer is that talented, it's like if Scott didn't, like if Scott was doing a solo song right now, Scott Hoying, and he was doing a solo song right now and he just stayed in this quality the entire time, you're missing like 90% of his voice. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. He's singing it lovely. It sounds all great. The strings are gorgeous, but it's missing that, <clears throat> that like, like just your rip your heart out kind of a thing, if that makes sense. So let's keep on listening. I don't, you know, I, I think it's beautiful and I don't mind listening to it, but I know he can do more. So that's why I'm interested. Oh. Thomas says, also the original is a slow build. This is a cover of a Duran Duran song. That's fine. And I don't know the original version of this at all or how Duran Duran sounds, but I'm just saying... Like, that was a very obvious place where I said, like, okay, hopefully he'll build now. There were two very obvious places. Even if he didn't build there, at least the next part, this is very obvious builds that, like, even in a cover could have made it really great, especially with his voice. I don't know if Duran Duran, like, something, like, I don't know, um, if we were listening to Simon and Garfunkel, I would have had a different opinion. But for the way that he sings and the, what he can accomplish vocally, it's too simple, in my opinion. Just me. My my thoughts. I just want more from him. I know he can do more. Anyway, let's keep listening. To me, crazy some say, say, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. See, even here, like, gone away, and then, boo, but I won't cry for yesterday. Like, he needs more crying it. This is more too beautiful for what the lyrics are saying. But I won't cry for yesterday. For part of the song, absolutely. But then it needs to go into the, I won't cry for yesterday. And, like, feeling the rest of it. He's a belter. I know he can do it. It's gorgeous. He, he has more. Just saying. Gone away.
It's pretty. It just missed it. that melody remind me of na, da, da. that reminds me of another song na, 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 da, da. Da, 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 da. there's another song that's similar to this oh unless i know the duran duran version and just don't realize it i don't know anyway beautiful gorgeous song love it yeah definitely want to sing it actually it sounds really really beautiful but like I said, I feel like that is the one thing that this was missing is because I know how he sings. I know, um, what is it? Thomas said, I guess it was a filler of an album. You don't want 100% all the time and it is stripped down version from the original. I guess maybe I would have picked a different song then because the way, like this song just has that potential for a build. If he was doing something like Vincent, that's a good filler. You know what I mean? That's like a good, it's, you don't need to make Vincent dramatic. It's all about the lyrics and the peacefulness and all of that. This and especially the way that it's played with the strings. How are you going to keep strings pared down like that? Especially in something like this. Like it just feels like it needs the build. And then it just kind of stays in the same place. So anyways. Thank you so very much, Luna. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see another one of my reactions to this artist or group, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what video I should watch next. Also, be sure to join us on Twitch for our weekly live streams of music, reactions, and more. Don't forget to check out the links down below in my description for exclusive behind the scenes perks and benefits. I am sending you all so, 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 so much love. And I will see you in the next video. 